Hey there, can you hear me? Yes. Good, glad you responded. I would like to know soon about the dev game you were involved in. It's not anything too difficult, is it? I'm begging you. Retrace memories. Thanks. A normal high school girl, Sarah Shidoin, and her best friend Joe, Tazuna, or Joe, well, I guess it's pronounced the same, doesn't matter I guess. One day, they were pulled into a cruel dev game. Rather than submit to fear, they chose to cooperate with the other participants. But Alice, high school teacher Kazuma Mishima, became the first victim. There was no stopping that they would kill each other. After a cruel majority vote, homemaker Kai Satu died. And Sarah's best friend Joe died as well, unable to defy his fate. Sarah became tormented by hallucinations. As her heart crumbled, the pearl only continued. Now, a question. Which of these two died? It was... No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, it was not Reko. It was not... It was Alice Yabusame. Yes. Oh, I almost pressed the wrong one. <laughs> exactly. The next victim was murderer Alice Yabusame. As desperately as they tried to grasp escape, their enemies gave their very lives to stop it. When the main game occurred once more, art student Neo Igukuro died. Now then, another question. Which of these two died? It was Sue. Well, was Sue Hijori the victim? Yes. Good, so you remember it well. I do. The next victim was self described job hopper Sue Hijori. After removing his collar, using the loss of his strength, he started up a Joe AI. At last, Sarah reunited with her best friend and then awoke from her long nightmare. The death game. Is not over yet. Six remain. Hey guys, welcome to your turn to die, a dev game by Mirity. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for future uploads of this and other games upload in the future. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and leave some thumbs below. It's finally time for the introduction, so I just did that. We can now begin. Yes, begin. Kenna was always with her big sister because she loved her a lot. But Kenna was always just a brother, wait, a bother to her. <laughs> if the time when it mattered, most she couldn't do anything. So she thought she was hated. But that message made her remember that surely her big sister was watching over her, that she had to stay strong on her own. But well, the truth is she knew that it wasn't her sister who wrote that message. Ugh. There's people who tried to protect Kenna. There's people who worked to encourage her. So, she doesn't want anyone else to die. Because they're all such kind people. Your turn to die. Death game by minority. Wow. Hey everyone, this floor will be closed out soon. Please proceed to the next floor quickly, or else your colors will... Yeah, yeah, I know. Huh? 
Miss Sarah, could it be that you're cured of my hallucination, you mean? It felt like I would have been having a bad dream. It fortuned myself with hallucinations of my own making. But I've woken up now. I, no, we, were loose to the likes of you. Huh? Right. Best of luck then, Miss Sarah. Alright. Just what I've come to expect. You all stand right back up, Sarah. It's not like it's on my own power alone. You mean Sue? Eh? Can't say I had the help. But I'm um, up to the very end. Because I kept getting used to falling for lies. But it's the truth that he tried to protect Kenna. Guess so. Kenna doesn't. Don't go thinking about giving yourself up every again, right? You could have given the kidnapper the beating. So you would have given them aid that right? Yes. And not just for Sue, for Neo too. Yeah. Neo. That's why we gotta pull out all the steps now. And first up is the next floor, cause it'll kinda throw a wrench in things if our colors activate. We will restart the escape plan once we're on the next floor, meow. This time, this time, let's escape for sure. Kenna, Kenna was, has clearly changed. I might say, she, she's gotten stronger. Uh, which he sacrificed, we change. That's right, so no one's death will be in vain. Let's get a move on, everyone. Right, after you, partner. Let's go, large door. Huh, through here? Really? Let's enter. Ooh. This isn't where the door went before. Whoa. The hell is this place? It's nothing surprising at this point, Wolf. It's just an image, meow. You're becoming such a war town, Adelchin. It's like we're walking through the sky. But we're not. At the top of the stairs is the door that blends in with the background. Should we go in? I guess so. We opened the door and entered. It's pitch black. A long passage. Everybody okay? Nobody fall behind? I'm fine, meow. Holding tight to the clothes of the person in front of you with... Oh, that's right. So my back smart, so it was Jin's claws. Yeah, who's that Shin? Where the Shin? So, so sorry, Skinner. Ah, I can see a faint light. Oh. What is that? The statue. This long, narrow stone, brightly illuminated. It's hard to chase. How far away it is, but it seems pretty big. It's a grave? Is it a grave? A grave? I wonder what's still this is this doing here? I mean, what is this doing here? No kidding. When you play with people's lives, where to respect the death don't mean shit. What? Huh? Another light came on, yeah. A large box of some sort? This box is even bigger than Katero. Surely this isn't. Uh, a coffin? It's a coffin. Wow, well, you don't think there's someone inside? Don't be ridiculous. Whose body would be? I wonder, should I open this thing? Definitely. Let's just open it. Open it. I suddenly it slid open the lid. What? It's a person. There's a person in here. Oh yeah, Katero um got a girl voice now. A person! There's a person in here! But who? What? 
This guy! <laughs> Meow, there's another box now with... What in the world? What's going on? Some sort of coffin. Open it. I suddenly slid open the lid. Sure enough, someone's in here. What? Yeah, this glasses guy. I've seen him somewhere with that victim video. He's someone who died in the first trial. That's right, yeah. Next came at his head. And yet, and yet, not a single visible wound, huh? Well, that's weird. Holy hell, what? Oh, a whole bunch of coffins. Some sort of coffin. He said it's a girl wearing a hat. Well, yeah, hood. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't read it. What What did Keiji say? Some sort of coffin. It said this woman wearing a large hat. Oh, wait, wait, here. I think I've seen this hood. Damn it! Is this cemetery? Um, next one? Some sort of coffin inside is a man with blue hair. This guy a victim of the first trial, too? Inside is a boy wearing a school uniform. Meow, respond if you're alive, Wolf. June. And here? Some sort of coffin. Inside is a girl with pink hair. So she, she looks like about Kara's age. Um. Should I check him again? Uh, let's touch the body. I tried touching it. I saw it sit open the lid. Are there any place that looks suspect? Wait, what the hell? Yeah! Big sister, what happened with? Get away, the bird's moved! Ah! So sort of coffin! She looks about kill. What the hell is going on? What the hell? Oh, oh, what? Nice to meet you, Miss Sarah. Huh? Ah, uh -huh, sorry to pop out of the darkness. Did I start you? I wonder. You, you mean you weren't a corpse? As you can see, I am super duper. So did you enjoy it? As if anybody would enjoy that, the hell's wrong with you? Oh, so sure enough, you don't remember? That's perfectly fine, though. I'm your floor master this time. Hello. Floor master, you say? Yep, I waited for five hours in that coffin. It's so cruel of you guys to keep me in suspense. Now, now, get her closer to me. There's no time I need to introduce you to the dolls who will be supporting you. What? Ah. Whoa, Nelly! Oh, just the worst way to wake up! Can't stand it! We have to support these guys! Blah! Well, fine by me, so which of you is my partner? Partner? Ahem, uh -huh, that should be mastering now! You guys are your supporters, after all! Hold on! Hold on, supporters! Aren't these. Ah, uh -huh. I will introduce you. They're known as the dummies. They're the tragic victims who died before they could meet anyone. E, Sarah, you're just so cute. Relax, we're on your side. She knows my name. Naturally, they're dolls, so they got the necessary, necessary info input in advance. This is discretion of the dead. Let me go back home. It's no use to struggling now. This time we'll be having you make pairs with the dummies to take on the game. Pairs? Now red thread of fate activate. What? My, my color.
What's this? The people connected by the red thread of fate are the pairs with this game. What? I could, alright then, I'll protect you. I'm Kurumade. Or something. Ah! Hey, Sakutara is my master. My name is Mei. Let's get along. Sure, sure. Is that the right mood it to be in? Hinako? Hinako! Middle schooler or so? Must be rough. Oh! Uh. Oh, uh, Reiko, isn't it? I'm Anzu, high schooler. Right. Right. Do you know what's going on, but nice to meet you. I'm Hayasaka, uh, ho hobo, a kid, huh? I'm the one who's worried with. Oh. Uh, Sarah, was it? I'm Ren Renmaru. I'm in high school like you. A high school student? Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. How nice. Everyone looks like they will get along. Well, lastly, I'll introduce myself to you. I'm a poor doll killed by the murder. Alice Yebisame. Sue Hichori. What? Huh? Of course, Sue Hichori is the name of the past to me now. Seeing as Shin used it with such care, I'm not going to just claim that name now. Huh? Shin Tsukimi, that's the real name of the Sue we know. So he took the, the Alice of Sue Hichori from this guy. Poor Shin. I'm truly, truly sad I am. Since he was going to die anyway, I want to kill him with my own hands. What? How, how can you say that? Ah, uh -huh, don't get so mad. You all can't understand my affection. This person, he's a little like Sue. Wait, wait. This person, he's a little like Sue. But something is distinctly different. Anyway, it'll be inconvenient without a nickname. Hey, Miss Sarah, you act as a representative blah, blah, and give me a new name. Um, yeah, Midori will be okay. Midori, that's a good name. You sure he won? Wait, wait, wait that, that's him. Midori, that's a good name. You sure he wants to name me that? Yes. Thanks, I'm glad to get such a wonderful name. So, what are you going to make us do this time? Aha, uh -huh, you just can't wait, can you? Relax, it's a very simple bonus game. You just have to join forces to kill a certain target. That is to say, it's a hunt. What? You can use any method, shooting, st stabbing, striking, strangling, anything goes. It should be a piece of cake for you guys, we've killed a bunch of people. Obeyed indirectly. Got the crap? Kill who? Your target is Keiji Shinogi. Not. Did that make your heart skip a beat, Miss Sarah? Obviously, that's a joke. I wouldn't make you kill your allies. Huh? Move it along. Alright, already? Just move it along. Serious, huh? I would say that's a good thing. I can't let myself get caught up in his tricks. Your target is Midori. In other words, you just need to kill me. Huh? Aha, uh -huh, no, no. I won't say it twice. Now, begins the sub game, the murderer game. I'm looking forward to the finest of blue lasts. Well, what? Wait, wait. Is this is the explanation over? We have to kill that person? Wow, you are right. Now might have been our best chance, you know? Like hell. Who could just up and do that after having it sprang on them? I bet that guy fled to the furthest ends of this floor. There's nothing for it. First, we will share the information we have with everyone. 
Hmm, there's still more info? That's right, he said it was too much butter and so we should give the explanations. Seems like we should ask them for details, Sarah. Okay. <coughs> but um, we're going to end. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If that makes you smash like and comment and click below, subscribe for more. And see you guys in the next one. Goodbye and peace out.